Hi guys, I'm George. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here in Somerset and it's a really beautiful sunny afternoon. So last time I was here it was a, a few months ago and now just coming back everything's grown. The trees have foliage on them, the flowers are out in bloom and in England we do like to complain about the weather a lot and we normally have quite a lot to complain about but on sunny days like this especially this time of year when everything is so green, you really realize just how beautiful the English countryside is. So I couldn't resist going out and painting a landscape. So I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna paint at the moment. I'm near Castle Naroche in Southern Somerset. And I'm just going out to look for a nice spot to pitch my easel and maybe paint a view or some trees, but I'll see what uh, whatever captures my eye. And actually earlier in this month, on the 11th of May, it was actually Somerset Day, and that's the day when people celebrate the county of Somerset. And the day is um, basically remembering the time when Alfred the Great, seen as one of the the sort of first kings of England, the people to unify England when it was all separate kingdoms, when the Vikings were invading and he had to hide, regroup, and he came to the Somerset levels. He rallied the English, the county of Somerset and the county of Wiltshire as well. And he managed to gather together an army, which then went back on a counter offensive. And that is why people celebrate the 11th of May in Somerset. Uh, not a massive celebration, but just a day which uh, is known as Somerset Day, at least here in Somerset. So that's a little bit of history. So I just came across this small path leading off the road, uh, which leads to this field, which has a lot of sheep in it. And the sheep could potentially make for quite a nice uh, addition to the painting. Definitely some more visual interest in the composition. They would certainly give a narrative to the painting and there's quite a few lambs here as well. Uh, they definitely seem quite curious in, in what I'm doing. So Potentially I could do a painting here with these sheep with all their little lambs. It could be quite a I guess quite a sweet painting uh, to do. Now, there's another field here. I wonder if this field also has sheep in or if, if it does or doesn't. So I've just had a look, quick look around and I really like this field of sheep and I've found another angle which I think will better capture the sheep for the painting. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Uh, just look at this, I think, um, this will make for a nice painting. So just coming up ahead. I'm gonna try and be quite quiet so I don't want to scare the sheep because I don't want them to run away from me as I want them to be the focal point of my painting. So here we get a small break in the hedge and look at this. Look at all these sheep just looking at me. I think this composition right here uh, is gonna be the one I'm gonna go for to paint. Remember, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's set up and let's start painting. I've applied a warm wash of a mixture of raw umber and yellow ochre to my canvas. And I find working on top of this warm imprimatura, especially when painting a sunny day, can be really helpful as some of the warmth of the canvas will break through between your brush strokes and it will help create that effect of warm sunlight hitting the scene. I'm now sketching in the main features of the composition using raw umber paint and I'm also positioning some of the sheep on the canvas at this early stage as the sheep are going to be probably the main focal point of the composition so I want to build the composition around them and now I'm massing in the sky and I start by painting the sky directly above the horizon and this section of sky is slightly warmer 
than the sky which is higher up and this warm imprimatura actually comes into play a bit as I'm applying this sky quite thinly and allowing some of the warmth to shine through the transparency of the paint and this creates the effect of a few sections of a warm purplish color shining through as this color underneath mixes optically with the light cooler color I've placed on top and you actually get a very nice vibrant effect from this and as I keep painting the sky as it goes higher up I add a little bit more cerulean blue to my mix just to cool the sky down a bit I'm keeping the sky very light it is going to be the lightest section of the painting with the only exception being the white wool of the sheep which is getting caught by the sunlight and here I'm painting the grass I'm using a mixture of yellow ochre permanent green and I'm also adding a touch of my cadmium yellow and ultramarine blue and just pushing and pulling these colors until I get an accurate color for the grass I'm trying to make a distinction between the grass in the foreground and the grass on the distant hills as this section in the foreground is much brighter and it's much more vibrant the colors have a lot more chroma to them whereas in the distance due to atmospheric perspective everything is a lot duller and it's lighter and it has this sort of hazy mist to it so I'm making two very distinct mixes on my palette for these two sections in the painting and to paint the sheep I start by painting the sections of them which are in shadow and have this purplish blue silhouette against the light background and to make this mix I'm using ultramarine blue, raw umber, a touch of alizarin crimson and a touch of titanium white as well as I want to keep this mix dark but not as dark as I can go and to paint the clumps of trees and shadows in the distance I'm using a similar paint mix to that which I've used to paint the sheep however I am adding a touch more titanium white and also some cerulean blue to that mix as I want to make that mix a bit lighter and cooler than the dark shadows on the sheep as this is further away in distance and now I'm painting in the areas of grass in the distance and I have made a distinction between the grass in the foreground and the grass in the distance which is cooler and duller and even though it is green it's more of a light grey than a vibrant green like the grass in the foreground and now I'm painting the lighter sections of the sheep and I'm loading my brush with titanium white and also a touch of my cadmium yellow as this is a warm light the sun is a warm light source which is lighting the white of the sheep and whenever you paint a white object outdoors you'll often find if it's in direct sunlight the lights are going to be slightly warm and the shadows are going to be quite cool and the reason for this is the shadows receive quite a bit of reflected light from the sky which is very blue whereas the areas in light are going to be lit by the sunlight which is a warm light source and I'm also using some of that warm orangey ground that imprimatura to shine through in a few areas I'm not completely covering every section of the light perimeter of the sheep and by allowing some of this vibrant orange to break through it just helps add to that appearance of the sunlight really shining on these sheep so i hope you enjoyed that video of me painting the sheep here in the countryside in somerset if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.